Hi, uh, how is everybody today? Uh, I'm doing very well and I'd like to talk about uh, why I think our electrical standards are better here in the country I'm born in compared to uh, Germany and Europe. Uh, here in the country I'm born in we're 120 volts and uh, coming into a house we have 240 volts coming in and uh, it's two 120 volt legs with a uh, shared neutral and a single pole breaker will give you 120 volts a double pole breaker will give you 240 volts now R240 is uh, a split phase see it's between the two live wires and in uh, Germany and Europe it's uh, the live to the neutral so that's the big difference between our 220 240 versus uh, Germany's 220 and uh, England's 240. I noticed over in Germany they uh, don't put boxes behind outlets, or not, or not behind behind light fixtures, they don't put boxes behind light fixtures, but there is a box behind the uh, light switches and the outlets, but they're not as roomy as ours. And uh, they use a wire much lighter than ours and they fuse it heavier than it should be fused. Like here we use 14 on a 15 amp circuit and over there it's 1.5 millimeter and it's a little bit lighter than 14 and they fuse it at 16 amps and they uh, use that in a kitchen and the rest of the house. And I don't think that is safe because 14 is the minimum for 15 amps and number 12 is required for a kitchen with 20 amps. So here where I'm born, we, this is number 12 with 20 amps, black, live, white, neutral, and the bare wire is the ground. And uh, our color code is uh, red, live, black, live, the bare wire is the ground, or if it's a commercial building and they're using a conduit, it'll be insulated green and white. There is an exception where white can be used as a live wire because it's always used for a neutral but there are a few exact times when it can be used as a live wire is like in a switch loop or a 220-240 circuit after you remark it with electrical tape and uh, yes we do have some things that are 220-240 this is a 30 amp uh, receptacle for a dryer it comes in 3 and 4 prong style like this is a three prong and there's also smaller plug configurations and that will be f the big ones will be for like your uh, electric stove and your dryer and the smaller ones would be for like your uh, air conditioners and maybe an electric uh, compressor and uh, here where I'm born we have residential grade light switches and uh, commercial grade. You can see the commercial one is uh, thicker and heavier and the residential one is thinner and lighter. But as you can see the terminals are the same size so that the uh, you have a good electrical connection on them. And uh, we have a uh, commercial grade outlets and residential grade outlets. The residential ones on the bottom, commercial ones on the top, and again you can see the uh, terminals are the same size, but the outlet is thicker and heavier for commercial. So I'll show you the inside of a German outlet so uh, you can see how much smaller the uh, connections are. This is one that they would use on a wall surface mount. You can see the terminals inside are much smaller and it is not polarized. But here where I'm born we have our outlets polarized. The uh, wider slot is the neutral and the uh, narrow slot is the live one and you can tell by the silver screw is the neutral and the brass screw is the uh, live. Both
both on the residential and the commercial grade outlet. Peace. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you do any electrical work, always consult with a codes person and have your work inspected. Thanks for watching.